Honey, you almost ready? I mean, we can't be late to this thing, yeah, you know? Yeah, I just wanted to straighten up before Jamie's sitter got here. Honey, this sitter is 15. Teenagers aren't into neatness. But I am, and I'm no teenager. Thank goodness. I prefer dealing with an old, established firm. <laughs> firm I like. Old gets you a month of TV dinners. Oh. <clears throat> How about mature? Have us sleeping on the couch. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie, I wish you wouldn't do that. Why? Well, it must hurt her. Joni, Joni, honey, a, a robot can't hurt. And, yeah, and you've got to stop thinking of her as a real child. I'll try, but it's not easy. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, Vicky, I'll go to your cabinet. Go to my cabinet. <laughs> Don't we really have to keep her in that box? It's so dark in there. Okay, I'll try harder. <laughs> oh, here, I'll get it. Well, uh, uh, yeah, here. I'll get the door. <laughs> Where are you going tonight, Dad? Oh, we're going to a really dull reception that my boss is giving to announce our latest product, the United Robotronics. What is it? Well, it's, it's a car door tester for assembly lines. You see, it's, it's a robot arm that opens and closes a car door 3,000 times every hour. Be tough on the guy who has to get in and out of the car. <laughs> yeah, well, he hasn't complained yet. <laughs> it's a joke, Jamie. You can here take these. I got important things to do. I can do my tie. And stuff. Oh, I'm sorry too. Well, I hope she feels better soon. Okay, bye bye. Problem, Ted. Mrs. Davis's daughter suddenly took ill, and now she can't sit for us tonight. Good, we lucked out. <laughs> oh, no, honey, this is too important. You have to go. Mm. I'll just stay home with Jamie. Uh, you don't have to, Mom. I know someone who'll sit with me for only 75 cents an hour. Well, who's that? Me. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Jamie, you're only 10 years old. Yeah, but being in this family ages me fast. <laughs> Honey, it's just that we feel that you're a little young to stay all by yourself. I'm old enough. I've even got a hair on my upper lip. <laughs> yeah, well, we'll talk about it when you've got a hair on your chest to match it. <laughs> Why can't I be alone? What do you think I'm going to do? Dye my hair green? Cook my goldfish in the microwave? <laughs> Those thoughts never crossed our minds. Until now. <laughs> you just don't trust me. Oh, honey, it's not a matter of trust. Gee, I'm not a baby. Besides, I wouldn't be alone. I've got Vicky. Look, Jamie, you might be ready to stay alone, but we're just not ready to let you. Proves it. You don't trust me. I think we hurt his feelings. Yeah, I guess there has to be a first time. But leaving a 10-year-old alone really worries me. I mean, who knows what could happen? Well, Jamie's pretty responsible. I was talking about Vicky. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, you know, honey, hmm? Jamie doesn't have to be alone. I could program Vicky to be a sitter, and he doesn't even have to know. Well, can you do that? Well, sure. You know, and it'd be a real good test for her. What do you say? Well, okay. There's still one thing that bothers me. What's that? I keep thinking about that goldfish in the microwave. <laughs> okay, honey, we're gonna be there just on time. Uh, Jamie, get in here. Vicky? Oh, Vicky. <clears throat> I want you to listen very carefully to what I tell Jamie and make sure that he does it. Got it? Got it. I hope we're doing the right thing, Ted. 
Honey, I'm positive. What is it? We're leaving now, honey. Who's sitting for me? Well, we decided you were right. You're old enough to be on your own. Yeah, all right. But there are a few ground rules. First, don't open the door for anybody, no matter what they say. I won't. And you must be in bed by 9 o'clock. Nine. How about ten? Nine. How about nine thirty? How about eight thirty? I'll settle for nine. <laughs> Boy, you guys negotiate like the Russians. <laughs> oh, we're worse. We're parents. <laughs> and be careful with Vicky. I don't want anything to happen to her. She's not perfected yet. Okay? I'm not perfected yet. She'll be safe with me, Dad. Oh, and you must do your homework before you watch television. All right, you got all that? Got it. Got it. Okay. All right. Good night, kids. Be good. Good night. Good night. See you later. Good night. Oh, I didn't kiss Vicky good night. Joan, you don't do that to a robot. You didn't kiss Vicky good night. <laughs> See, you hurt her feelings. Well, would you just kiss her so we can get out of here, honey? Mm. All right, Jamie, the number of the restaurant is right by the phone in case you need us. I won't, Dad. Everything's cool. All right. Everything's cool. What's keeping uh, you tuned? Nothing. Everything's cool. Mm. <laughs> Man, you know that saying, when the cats are away, the mice play? Well, we're the mice. We're the mice. I can do anything I want. I can watch television all evening. You must do your homework before you watch television. No problem. I've got a ton of math, but it'll be finished in record time. Record time? Yeah, because you and your built-in computer are going to do it for me. <laughs> How you doing with those fractions, Vicky? I have two problems remaining. Only two? Correct. Boy, you're doing ten math problems and the time it takes me to do one. <laughs> you're fantastic, and I'm a genius. <laughs> I have finished... Wow! From now on, it's straight A all the way for the big J. <laughs> I calculate your grade for this assignment at C+. Plus. C+, plus? that's crazy. You can't make mistakes. You're a robot. I'm programmed to be an average 10-year-old. Average 10-year-olds make mistakes. Well, forget it. I'm reprogramming you to give me an A. Got it? Got it. <laughs> I'll recompute. It's better. Let me know when I have an A. Man, I've discovered the cure for common homework. <laughs> <laughs> What's keeping you, Ted? Is there something wrong at home? Who knows? The line's busy. Well, I'm sure there's nothing to worry about. Yeah, I'm sure. Well, Jamie's probably just talking to some of his friends. Oh, sure, friends. <laughs> Or the fire department. <laughs> That's right, Reggie. Tell the guys I'll do their math homework for a buck a piece. <laughs> and I guarantee an A. <laughs> what do you mean I'm not that smart? <laughs> I got brains I haven't even used yet. <laughs> you now have an A in your assignment. Boy, sure hope there's some way you can be my roommate in college. <laughs> Out of sight, Vicky. Out of sight, Vicky. No, come on back. See what's on the tube. Maybe a good movie I'm not supposed to see. <laughs> Vicky. Sometimes. <laughs> Vicky, what's the matter? Television isn't that bad. <laughs> Holy smoke, I'd better call Dad. <laughs> hey, you're okay now. You're all fixed. I'm okay. Could it be this? <laughs> It makes me nuts. <laughs> Better be careful with it from now on. Oh, well, I flipped through the channels. Answer the phone the way I taught you, okay? Okay.
Hello, this is the Lost in Residence. We can't come to the phone right now. Please leave your name and number, and we'll get back to you. Uh, <laughs> now she's an answering machine? Why didn't I think of that? Who's on the phone, Vicky? They didn't say. Was there a message? They didn't say. Could have been that little Snoop Harriet next door just checking to see if we were home. Except she never stops talking. She can even talk underwater. <laughs> ah, here's a good movie that starts at 9 o'clock. You must be in bed by 9. You've got a lot to learn, Vicky. That rule only applies when my parents are home to enforce it. <laughs> you must be in bed by 9. What are you, a broken record? <laughs> You don't tell people what to do, they tell you. If you are not in bed by nine, I will put you to bed. Uh -oh. <laughs> That's funny. And just how do you intend to put the big J to bed? <laughs> like this. have a chocolate milkshake. So don't get on my case, Vicky. <laughs> there is no mention of a chocolate milkshake in my memory bank. <laughs> now this is what makes going through adolescence bearable. <laughs> First you pour in some milk. Milk. Then you add the ice cream. Ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> And now, you pour in the chocolate syrup. Chocolate syrup. Just a dash. <laughs> and now you add the egg. Remember I showed you what an egg is? I remember. Uh, uh be careful. The last time you crushed it. They're very delicate. Very delicate. Here, you better give it back. <laughs> Oh, great! The object is to drink it, not wear it. <laughs> Here, forget the egg. Forget the egg. I better clean this before my folks get home. Okay. Oh, the cord's too short. Wait, I've got an idea. I'll use your electrical socket. <laughs> Should do it. Okay. Not bad. Here, have a drink. I'm not programmed to drink. Well, then I'll program you. This is something not even a robot should miss. <laughs> drink, Vicky. This is good stuff, eh? This. <laughs> Say that again. This is <laughs> What happened to your voice? My circuits are wet. Oh no! I'm going to be grounded for the rest of my life. <laughs> I do not compute the word grounded. Hey, your voice is okay. You're all fixed. I'm all fixed. There you go again. Why does it do that? Slow drying circuits. <laughs> Please say they'll all be dry when my dad gets home. They'll all be dry when my dad gets home. Daddy, Vicky, open up. It's me, Harriet. Shh. Shh. No, pen, pretend you're not there. I hear breathing. Oh, the little pest. What do you want, Harriet? Well, since our fathers worked together, my parents went to the same party that yours did. So? So I'm bored. Let me in so we can play. Go play with your babysitter. I was talking to her and she fell asleep. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Figures. <laughs> Open up, Jamie, or I'm going to cut off one of my pigtails and tell my dad that you did it. <laughs> Why don't you just glue it under your chin and tell everyone you're Abe Lincoln? <laughs> if you don't let me in, I'll stand out here till I freeze to death. And it'll be all your fault. What do you say to that? I say this. <laughs> uh, will you do me a favor and freeze to death quietly? If you don't want to play with me, how about you, Vicky? Uh, Vicky doesn't want to play. I would like to hear Vicky speak for herself. What do you say, Vicky? I say this. <laughs> There's a better party here than there was at the one we were just at. Jimmy must have bolted the door. Uh, stop, Vicky. Who is it? It's Mom and Dad, honey. Open the door. Okay. Your father said don't open the door for anybody, no matter what they say. <laughs> yeah, and he'll be real pleased that you remembered. Jamie, open up. He meant anybody else but them. Now let go, or I'll tell him to take you apart and put you back in your suitcase. <laughs> Vicky, put me down! This is so humiliating. <laughs> Jamie, Jamie, what's taking so long? Vicky, well, let me open the door. You said not to, no matter what anybody says. Just order her to open it. Well, I can't. Uh, her command mode has to be deactivated electronically. Well, can you do that from out here? Uh, no. <laughs> but uh, maybe Jamie can. Jamie? Yeah, Dad? I want you to go to Vicky and open the flap on her back. Okay, Dad. It's all right, Vicky. Back off. I'm not going to open the door. Turn around. <laughs> Okay, Dad, it's open. All right, there's a red button there. Do you see it? I see it. Okay, press it, and Vicky's voice command circuits will be cleared. When you hear the tone, the time will be 9 o'clock. <laughs> it's bedtime. Yeah, later. I've got to push the red button. You must be in bed by 9. Uh, uh, uh Vicky! I got all my parents in! Uh, Jamie, what's happening? Did you deactivate Vicky? No, she deactivated me! <laughs> Jamie, Jamie! Well, do something, Mr. Electronics Genius. It's freezing out here. You know, uh, maybe all those years of sneaking into sorority houses in college weren't wasted. <laughs> <laughs> Bingo, it's open. Why is it open? What have I told you about keeping the windows locked? Do you want us to get robbed? No, I want us to get inside. Oh, right. Here, take this one. Oh. Thank you. Give me a little shove, honey. A little shove, <laughs> Mary Lou Retton, I'm not. I can be a sis. Thank you very much. What? I'll get the... Uh, uh, I'm gonna pay for this, Vicky. Will I get my hands on your red button? <laughs> all right, what, what seems to be the problem matter? here? Am I glad to see you? Is everything all right? No, you said you trusted me. Instead, you left me with the Incredible Hulk for a sitter. Release, Vicky. 
Oh, sorry, Jamie. I guess we were just being overly cautious. She even put me to bed with my clothes on. <laughs> okay, Vicky, get in your cabinet. Get in my cabinet. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Say that again. Get in my cabinet. <laughs> What's wrong with your voice? My circuits are wet. Jamie? Well, I sort of gave her a taste of my chocolate milkshake. How could you do such a dumb thing? And besides, you know how we feel about you having those sweets. Oh, no, no, don't be too angry. Uh, look on the bright side. Robots can't get cavities. <laughs> <laughs> look, Jamie, if you want our trust, you're just going to have to earn it, huh? Because trust works both ways. Now, is there anything else you taught Vicky tonight that I should know about? Like, uh, did she help you with your homework? No. Good. She did it all by herself. <laughs> See, this way I'll get smarter faster. <laughs> yeah, we can wait. All right, no more using Vicky for your homework. Now, did she learn anything else from you tonight? No, not that I can think of. There's one more thing. Well, what's that, Vicky? <laughs> <laughs> She's a small wonder, brings love.